Walgreens will be shuttering a meaningful percent of its 8,600 locations across the country. The company's CEO, Tim Wentworth, told the Wall Street Journal, citing profitability and declining margin. The exact number of store closures is unknown. However, Wentworth said the chain's most underperforming stores would be affected. The company has already closed 625 stores since February and lowered the prices on more than 1,000 products in May. Wentworth told the paper the decision to close stores stems from a difficult working environment, such as pressures on the consumer and the loss of inventory due to theft. The pharmacy chain cut its profit outlook for the year and expects adjusted earnings per share to be between $2.80 and $2.95, down from its forecast of $3.20 to $3.35. Wentworth said Thursday that consumers have become increasingly selective and price sensitive in their purchases. Walgreens isn't the only pharmacy chain affected by market changes. Both Rite Aid and CVS have closed hundreds of locations, citing a decline in profits. Rite Aid even filed for bankruptcy in October. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. If you want more unbiased straight facts, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit san.com.